Okay, so once you've got your concrete in the holes, we're getting ready to set the channels. You want to make sure on the height of the concrete, you leave it as high as you can. Typically, we like a couple inches below finish grade, which will leave room for some dirt and sod things to be able to grow over the hole and you know hide the concrete in there. Once the concrete's placed in your hole, you take your metal post, and we set the first post off of the blue line that we marked originally when we marked our first holes. So you want to line your post up so that it's touching the string line. Use a simple level just to make sure that it's plumb straight up and down. And you just set it on the concrete, make sure you've got it plumb in both directions, and then go ahead and press your channel into the ground. You want to make sure that you check your level and that it's parallel, it's not twisted at all. You see here if I twist it, you can see how it's not running even with that string line there. You want to make sure that your channel is nice and plumb and straight on with that string line. That's going to ensure that you get a nice straight fence running along that property line. Now the channels, when the concrete is wet, you need to get them close to level. And as the concrete cures, you need to come back and do a double check because the channels have a tendency to move just slightly while the concrete's still in its curing process. So typically what we do is we'll lay out a line of channels, we'll set all the channels, and then we'll come back and double check them one more time. This gives the concrete time to cure up just a little bit and make sure that you're, they're gonna be able to stand straight up and down. So once you have your first chan um, post here in place, you wanna take your jig. So the jig is just a simple two by four that we cut to 104 and a half inches. So at 104 and a half inches, if you're touching the previous channel, that's gonna give you the proper spacing of where the next channel needs to sit. And then you just repeat the process here of setting the channel in, make sure it's nice and plumb, and touching the end of the jig there. That's gonna ensure that the panels fit when you come to install the fence. So once again, use your level, double check in both directions, make sure the channel is nice and plumb, and then simply press it into the concrete. Once you've got it down in the concrete, make sure it's running parallel with that string line. And once again, check your levels to ensure that you have a nice plumb fence. Now as far as the heights of the channels, there's no set height of where it needs to be. You want to make sure you get your channel down about two feet into the concrete to make sure it's secure, which will leave you roughly five feet out, uh, seen as the metal posts are about seven feet tall. And also when you're setting your channels, you want to make sure that you put the four inch wide side running in line where you want the fence to go because the panels are four inches wide, so they'll match this dimension here. So the skinnier side, the three inch side, is going to be touching your string line and the four inch side is going to be running in line with where the panels will be. 